the perfect opportunity para share din sa inyo yung mga bagay na hindi namin talaga masyadong kinukwento sa mga ibang tao. And yung real, real reason and a very personal reason kung bakit talaga kami nandito sa Baguio City. Or how we even start uh, planning towards our uh, dream to live here in Baguio City. Welcome back for another Living in Baguio video. And for today's video, it's suggested by one of our subscribers. So, hello, Momshi, Princess Peruma. Ayan, so, flash ko dyan yung kanyang comment sa isa sa mga Baguio Vlogs video natin. And I think this video would be a three-part video. Meron siyang tatlong question para sa atin. Dahil medyo, uh, medyo mahaba rin yung mga sagot namin dito sa mga tanong ni Momshi Princess. Papasahin ko muna sa inyo yung kanyang uh, question. Uh, thank you for this very informative vlog. It is beneficial for us planning to move into Baguio. We don't really know where and how to start. Um, I hope you can share the planning process before moving in like what drives you li to leave Manila. How much money you need to have at least. How did you transport your belongings and many more. So actually, hindi ito yung first comment na uh, nagtanong sa amin ng ganito na or how we even start uh, planning towards our uh, dream to live here in Baguio City. For this video, eh, sasagutin natin yung question na What drives us to leave Manila and downsize in the province? So I think before we even uh, go dun sa mga detalye na kung magkano yung pinrepair naming budget and para namin tinransport yung mga gamit namin. Also, kung ano yung naging planning process namin. Uh, kasi hindi siya instantly. We've been planning for this for two years uh, bago namin siya talaga fully na-execute. So, isashare natin yun sa uh, next video. So, I hope that you watch up until the end and also uh, hit the subscribe button down below kung gusto nyo masubaybayan yung mga ibang part ng video na ito. Actually, marami na sa amin nagtanong talaga kung bakit kami lumibat sa Baguio City. And we've been answering like um, tip of the iceberg uh, answers sa mga tanong nila, katulad na mm, babae yung cost of living. It's a very good city para sa mga bata. They will have a very nice childhood experience. But actually, that is just the tip of the iceberg. We have three driving factors that we don't talk much in public and even with our family and friends just because if we talk about it we will look really crazy what <laughs> so that's why we're giving out like um very vague answer to them kapag tinatanong nila na ba't kami lumipat ng bag city because we know that yung driving factor namin these are events that will happen in the future kaya <laughs> namin ang lakas ng loob na i-share ito sa inyo because it is actually happening in the world. So first driving factor is Hundreds dead. Thousands infected across multiple continents. Millions quarantined with whole cities in lockdown. The pandemic that happened three years ago. Second The Philippine Central Bank says inflation is going up and it will stay up for the rest of 2022. It's the recession that will happen after the pandemic. And third An unprecedented food crisis is engulfing the world. Is the upcoming food shortage. Before the pandemic hits, the, our short-term family plan is to save up some money and settle somewhere in the south. 
So, around Laguna area yung mga titignan namin yung lote. Because, yung trabaho namin ni Daddy Ken is sa, nasa South. And, before pandemic, yung economy natin is okay somehow. Uh, maraming taong kumikita ng okay. Maraming business opportunity. But everything changed when COVID-19 pandemic happened around the world. That's one of the first driving factor na we decided to move outside of Metro Manila. Kung ang una nangyari is na wala ng trabaho si Daddy Ken. Uh, maraming mga nagsara or hindi nakasurvive the business. Nag-usap kami ni Daddy Ken and we've decided to look for an alternative place to live outside Metro Manila. So, actually, hindi talaga bagay yung una naming plano at that time because um, yung trabaho ko is... Uh, nasa Alabang. Tapos si Daddy Ken is, ang plano is right after pandemic, um, mahaka ako naman siguro yung construction industry and he will go back. And so we look into area ng Maragundon. Actually, Maragundon yung first choice namin na mag-move, mag, mag sa province. Let's try to leave sa mga vicinity na province na pwede natin biyahihin in case na kailangan bumalik ng office. To have a backup plan in case things got to worse uh, for this pandemic, in case na tumagal siya, which is, nangyari naman talaga, na tumagal siya. Ang talagang is hindi pa talaga totally wala sa buhay natin si COVID. And it's been three years na rin na we've been dealing with this pandemic. And then let's go dun sa pangalawang driving factor na related din talaga sa COVID-19 pandemic. Ito yung recession after pandemic. Even before nag-start pa lang yung pandemic, we knew na recession might really happen. There's a big percentage that it will happen right after the pandemic. Kasi it's like a domino effect that um, this event happened, everything stopped. Um, yung businesses and to make it first at some point of course there are profits that are lost jobs that are lost so ngayon may lakas ng loob na kami i-share sa inyo to because it's really happening i mean it's now happening um, high fuel prices ayan that causes the products na tumaas din ang presyo because transportation logistics costs will get high we've thought about our family how can we survive if this thing happened a lot of people are moving out of cities and trying to find a piece of their own land to grow food in. If there is a potential recession coming, it is going to hit the big cities first. Kapag ka nagkaroon ng high inflation, pag nagkaroon ng recession, what is our plan to survive yung ganong phase ng buhay? Kung baga, ang prinsipyo namin is wala namang mawawala kung magka-prepare tayo, di ba? And then, kung hindi siya mangyari, and then we will be thankful that it will not happen. Pero in case that it happened, at least we've got something. We've got a plan. Siyempre, to survive a recession or high inflation rate, what we think of is to actually lower our cost of living. Ano ba yung mga expenses namin na nagpapalaki ng cost of living namin sa Metro Manila? So, yun na nga is um, yung electricity is one of the big chunk of uh, expense, house expense then for us. Second is yung food kasi nung nakatala kami sa Alabang uh, nung Tinlupa City medyo mataas yung mga presyo ng mga bilihin doon. Water. Ang mahal din ng water sa South and one of our problems living in South is madalas talaga nawawala ng tubig. It's sobrang hirap ng nawawala ng tubig. So yun yung mga uh, identify namin na where can we downsize our cost of living uh, our lifestyle. We can survive in case magkaroon ng recession and then kung malulower namin expenses namin, everyday living expenses, then that would really help our family to survive. Given that, uh, we choose a lot of places. Uh, siguro blessing in this guys na din talaga na nag-announce yung former company namin doon na mag-work from home na kami moving forward. It's medyo lalawak na talaga yung choices namin when it comes to kung saan provinces yung pipiliin namin. By default, napili talaga namin yung Baguio City. Matagal ko na talagang gustong mag-settle sa Baguio City. Pero because ng mga opportunities in the Metro Manila, I've thought of it, yung, loop, yung parang uh, lupa na nabili ng uh, mother ko na paggawa ng bahay. Uh, I've thought of that as a vacation house. Pero 
since you know changes na sa work situation na work from home, we've thought of why not we move to Baguio City na and uh, let's try to live there for a couple of years habang unti-unti natin pinapagawa yung bahay doon sa lupa ni Mama. Living in Baguio City, siya na like talaga lahat ng requirements na hinahanap namin in choosing kung saan ang probinsya ba kami magsasettle. Talaga namang uh, Baguio City is a perfect place to lower our electricity because we don't need to use air conditioning. Second is to lower our food cost because pwede kami mag-switch sa mga gulay and to cook our own food para mas makatipid. Yung water cost is hindi rin ganong kamahal dito sa Baguio City. Given the fact na pwede hindi ka maligo in a day. <laughs> so, ganun siya. Saktong-sakto, yung Baguio City as a province na talagang makakapagbigay sa amin ng desired result namin na to lower our cost of living at kung ano ba yung mga mahal na pinagkahagasa sa namin sa araw-araw ng buhay namin. Eh, interested ka to know yung detalye ng aming cost of living. Gumawa ko ng video na yan. Ayan, yung cost of living here in Baguio City para magkaroon kayo ng idea if this place is also a perfect place for you and your family. And I also encourage you guys to look for other provinces. Sobrang lahat ng Pilipinas. Depende kasi sa inyo yun eh kung what kind of lifestyle you wanted to live. If you want to live near the beach, maraming option dyan na mga tao na pwede kayo mag-settle. Yan, as long as you have a source of income, online or remotely, ganyan, you can do it. So for us, we are mountain people by passion and also by hobby. So we think that uh, we will really enjoy uh, living in Baguio City and we are actually right about our decision. So that's our second driving factor of moving from Metro Manila to Baguio City. So third in our list, I know not a lot of you guys would understand our third driving factor which is the global food shortage. It's a very serious topic. Not everyone we talk about it, but some of our friends, we've been talking about this already. Even before it happened, three years ago, things are a little shaky with the global food supply. A lot of countries in the world is really codependent with the products produced from different countries as well. So, nandito tayo sa point ng civilization na global na siya. Bihira na talaga na you, you get all the resources within your country. Pero dahil nga we enter the global economy is codependent talaga tayo sa iba't ibang bansa. This food shortage news is already out there. If you're watching um, news outside uh, our country, if you watch world news, global news, um, and if you extended your research, uh, you would really know that there will be an upcoming global food shortage. Why is this a driving factor? Why food shortage? This is the last push button that we have. Okay, na, we are going to go to the province. We are going to go to the Baguio City. Because if this thing happens, the recession, pandemic, or madali siyang paraanan eh. Katulad na recession, kailangan mo lang magtipid, you have to save more, you have to earn more, ganyan. And kailangan mo lang maging frugal, di ba? Parang kailangan mo lang tipirin yung mga resources mo. And then you can survive a recession. COVID-19, we all know that we actually survived it after a couple of years. So far, okay naman. Di ba? Parang nakasurvive naman yung mga nakasurvive after the pandemic. But for the food shortage, food is the very essential um, needs that we have, that we need to have. Every society is only three meals away from chaos. Nangyayari na siya ngayon. So, it, it is happening sa Sri Lanka. It's happening in Panama. Civil unrest has broken out in Panama. There's massive protests everywhere. There's food shortages, gas shortages, and no one really knows when this is gonna end. That this country are undergoing civil unrest. Ibig sabihin, kakagulo na uh, wala nang law and order because of fuel and food crisis. You know, if you don't have any food na mabibigay sa mga anak mo, sa pamilya mo, it would really push you to do a lot of crazy things. For our family, we thought na walang masama if we will be ready for it. That is actually one of the biggest, biggest 
driving factor that we move in Baguio City. Benguet Province is one of the biggest suppliers of vegetables binababa sa mga lowland. We wanted to move our family to a lugar that is a source of food. We live here in Baguio City, especially in Benguet Province, uh, sa Trinidad, will be just a few kilometers away from where the uh, food is being produced locally. We know that if things get to worse, yung mga pagkain that we usually buy in our grocery store na hindi siya makakarating sa Pilipinas, it can be, or our big manufacturing companies na mga pagkain that we can find in the grocery stores, it can be na magkaroon sila ng shortage sa mga, para mga ingredients noon. There could be a possibility na hindi siya makapag-produce enough. So we've thought that if we're gonna live uh, in a place where the food is locally produced, as you all know that uh, here in Benguet province, um, they are very self-sufficient, meaning ang dami nilang local products, you know, they can survive with. They produce it here in Benguet province. So we find Benguet province to be a very self-sufficient community. Kaya dito rin namin napili talaga. And also, isa yung sa mga long-term plan namin is to move sa La Trinidad and to build a tiny house, leave the other half ng property for us to plant our own vegetable garden para mag-alaga ng manok para mag-alaga ng kambing hopefully next year we can do it kasi we've thought that we have time before pero sa nangyayari sa mundo parang papalapit na siya ng papalapit sa Pilipinas and we think that na kailangan namin medyo bilisan yung plano namin so next year we're planning to really focus na doon sa lupa sa the Trinidad and to build a tiny house. So I hope that we can join our journey. Namin yun. Uh, a tiny house that is sustainable in itself, that can be solar powered, that we can uh, collect green water for our consumption. Because in the subdivision, na yun, is not going to be able to because we don't have a line of too big. The most we can do is green water collection. Sila. So I think it's possible if kaya nila mabuhay doon na without uh, city service water, just collecting rainwater and also nagpapadeliver din ng mga water sa tanke, we can do that as well. So yun na yung sisimula namin next year for us to start planting our own food in our uh, backyard. So I've shared a lot of personal things to you guys kasi pinag-isipan ko talaga to. Uh, if I'm gonna share it with you, and I think, you know, it will be helpful. I think sobrang laking tulong that if I keep it just with myself, with our family, we are, you know, planning these things na baka nasa isip nyo rin to, and then you just thought that these things are crazy to think about. Pero I just wanted you to know that you are not alone. Uh, if ganito din yung mga pinaplanin nyo, we've been planning this for three years now. So I hope that you can start planning to move your family outside the city and have a backup life or have a backup plan to live in the province where you can uh, grow your own food and be sustainable, be self-sufficient on your own. And kaya kasi ginawang tatlong part is my answer to these questions are very complicated, sobrang daming detalye, and gusto ko na rin share sa inyo yun baka sakaling makatulong if you're also thinking about it and also makapag-spread na rin ng awareness in my own little way about the things that are happening outside our country parang that could happen actually also in our country how can we uh, plan ahead for our family and I hope na naging helpful sa inyo to so comment down below if you want us to talk about more about this topic and yun, I hope at makafollow ma -follow nyo rin yung journey namin on our last leg of this plan na to move in La Trinidad and build a tiny house, uh, grow our own food in the garden, be sustainable as we can be, be self-reliant as we can be, and hit my subscribe button kung gusto mo kami mapanood next year to do that. So yun, uh, so, i-vlog namin yung buong journey namin from preparing the land, from planning our tiny house, from planting our um, vegetable garden. 
So, yun. Marami pa tayong pagsasamahan. And I hope that you are safe, you and your family. Thank you again for watching. And please stay tuned sa second part ng video na to. Kung saan si share naman namin yung naging planning process namin uh, for us to be able to move out of the city, downsizing our life in the province. So you can also follow us in our social media accounts, the Lego family, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And I hope na makasama ka namin in our future videos. Thank you very much again for watching. This is Mommy Drew from Baguio with love. Till the next video. Bye!